Today we are discussing the body computer adding rear fog lights. You can see these are the European uh, trunk housings. Here's the fog light here. Um, otherwise they're the same as the US spec ones, but you'll notice this goes across. Uh, it took me a long time to figure all this out. I didn't think it'd be so complicated, but um, in the end, here's what's going on. So, let's say you want to change your heater controls to Celsius. Uh, you'll see um, the dealer tells you you can't do this. There's no way to change it. There's no way in TechStream. Well, there is if you get a different body module. This body module is um, from any European vehicle. Now, the problem is... I hate this light on here. If you go by the part number, it's not going to help you because the part number is the same as the US spec body module. This really messed me up too because I had no idea why they would use the exact same part number, but it is what it is. Now, here's the European um, headlight stock. You'll see it has the rear fog light um, icon on there, and it's the momentary switch. So um, I'll go through this next, but don't worry about the cluster of the lights. Uh, let me just get this on for you. So it turns on the fog lights one, and then the second turn up will turn on the rear fog. And you'll see that we've got our rear fog lights on now, like so. So A, if you're looking for rear fog lights, this is the video for you. Or B, if you have like a US spec car and you're in a different country, or Canada or something, and you want your um, Celsius display, that one changes and then this one in back also changes. Um, that's what you need to do. So the body module's here. Uh, it's really easy to get to if you pop off the panel and just a bunch of plugs. Um, yeah, that's uh, not much more to say about it. Make sure to get, if you have an LS460, you have to get a 460 box if you use a 600 box i found out that the remote trunk or the the fob won't open the trunk um, and then secondly the um for whatever reason the programming in this body module will not beep when you lock or unlock the doors there's no beep so that's it if you like those um issues it's kind of like picking what's bad or worse like if you wish you had fahrenheit um, but you want rear fog lights, it's just not possible. Now, the other thing I was thinking is if I used somehow two boxes. So I'd, I'd leave this one in because what happens when you turn this switch, it's not switched to ground like um, normal cars. It's all CAN bus. So this gives a data signal that says turn me on. And it goes routes through this fuse box here and then it routes to the trunk fuse box where it turns on the lights. So it's not a matter of just like adding a wire. You have to somehow intercept the signal and then know what hex, hexadecimal values and bits and bytes this thing is sending to turn it on. So what I was thinking is I can somehow just use the factory US one and then use the second one somehow um, like a slave just for the rear fog lights. but. I put in so much time I don't really care at this point. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm even going to look into that. Now the second part, there is no rear fog icon. It would be up here on the US spec or Canada spec even, I don't think, clusters. So this is just the parts one I have here. Um, this one doesn't even have like none of the u.s spec or north america specs even have the icon in it um, but what they do they do have the um, the led so if you look at the led on a european spec cluster compared to the u.s spec or north american spec the led is actually there but it doesn't do anything so what i found out i bought a cluster from the uk and it's the same other than the mile an hour is a little bit different the fuel icon's a little bit different 
Um, the display will say tire, T-Y-R-E, not T-I-R-E. Um, you'll have some other weird stuff going on. I think it still reads in miles. Um, but like I said, oh, and then when you open the driver door, it actually shows the passenger door opening. Um, so like I said, you're, you're kind of giving up one thing and picking up another bad thing. But if you were to use like the UK or European cluster, you would just basically need this piece. It's the part with the plug and the board and all the programming is on the chip that tells every, you know the cluster what to do. So what I was thinking too on this, but again, this is just so far-fetched that I don't even know. You would have to take the overlay off of the UK cluster, okay? Put it on the, the US spec cluster. That way you'd have your icon here. Then you would have to uh, leave your US cluster installed, but you would have to also hook up the UK spec board. Following me here? So when you click on the wiper, the headlight stock, this gets a CAN bus signal. Um, and actually this is over here. So you would, need, you would need this and this. So when the, the headlight stock clicks on, this LED would turn on. Um, you would just have this like somewhere under the dash. This LED would turn on and you would have a wire going from here to the US cluster that would turn this LED on. That's the only way I can think of doing this. I have no idea what, what other possibilities there are. But again, that's like way, way crazy. So that's it. That's where I'm at. Um, and that's about it. I'll put part numbers in the video. If you have any questions, let me know. This thing here, I thought about like if you got a UK one or whatever, it would be different or put the US one in the UK cluster. But these are all the same. The display units. All the magic happens on this board. I kind of tested everything and... I'm assuming it's, you know, programmed in the main chip, the microprocessor here that says this is a UK or European cluster. So, um, yeah, I think it'll help more people that want the, the um, Celsius or metric uh, climate control versus, I don't, care, I don't think anyone cares about rear fog light here, but I do and I'm crazy. So that's it. Uh, I think I covered everything. If you want to find one of these body modules, you're going to have to look on like eBay.UK or German eBay or Ireland eBay and find any 07 to 09 LS460. It can be right-hand drive. It does not have to be left-hand drive because they're the same. And if you can, get a VIN number from the seller. Um, but obviously, if you're buying it from Europe, it's going to have the Euro European uh, body module. So order one of these from Europe, plug it in, and um, enjoy your Celsius.